Hey buddy, it's Natasha. Um, so I'm coming to you guys showing you how I made um, some meat pies. So backstory, my husband is West African and he wants he wanted um, some meat pies. <laughs> Never fixed meat pies before before. And so of course I get on Pinterest, you know, Google, Google is my friend, you'll find anything, you'll even learn how to fly on Google. So <clears throat> found a couple recipes and I used some tidbits from here and there and made some meat pies. So right now what you're seeing me do is measure out measuring out the flour and I'm using all-purpose flour here and I believe I'm not gonna put the recipe in a description box because <laughs> it needs to be perfected. I mean, it came out good, but it was kind of hard. So I do remember that the total of flour that I was supposed to use is like five and maybe five and um, half a cup, five and a half. So a little salt, measure that salt out. Your spoons together, Natasha. Nutmeg. I do remember um, in tasting meat pies that, that was made from others that I remember tasting like a little hint of nutmeg in it. So I put some nutmeg in it, threw some nutmeg in it. And for butter, it was uh, it was supposed to be two eight ounces. So um, <clears throat> That's a lot. I think it was a cup. I don't know. But just add butter. And it was supposed to be cold. And I remember, oh, well, let me save that last stick of butter. I got some Crisco butter flavor shortening. I mean, isn't that almost the same? So, voila. I threw it in. And in the recipe, the recipe called for cold water. <laughs> so, I was going to use tap water. But I was like, okay, well. Let's get some cold water. So I got a bottle of water and I used that. And yes, I am cutting up onions. And if you're wondering, <laughs> is my knife sharp? It's not really sharp. It does the job. And I do have sharper knives, but I don't use them often because I always cut myself or burn myself. Um, I don't mind being semi-dull. So you are supposed to, oh wow, did you see that corned beef? That is corned beef. And I use two tins. You'll be able to see it just a smidge over off in the corner, the um, corned beef that my husband purchased. And this is just the result of the dough that I made. Oh no! <laughs> Even in this dough, I'll show a close up. You'll see a close up and you can see the little specks of nutmeg in it. And it was so good. It wasn't overpowering. I know some people really don't like um, you know, the taste of nutmeg, but it was really good. You could taste it. It was just a hint. It wasn't overpowering at all. So now that we have sauteed our onions, warmed up that um, corned beef, and now we have our dough together. So I'm cleaning up my surface so that we can get ready to roll this dough out and flour the surface.
So here you see me um, rolling out the dough and <laughs> and checking to see if it's sticking to the counter because I was going to try to turn it. We got to roll that dough in all directions. And I guess I tore it. Oh, honey, we dusted with a lot of flour, huh? So now I have rolled out my dough. It was a fight too, honey. But I won. So I do not have a um, a pastry cutter or a dough. Well, I don't know what you call it, but whatever that cutter is called, biscuit cutter, pastry cutter, I don't have it. So you know, you improvise. So I got my pink bowl and as you can see, Get me some dough. Um, but you'll see later on in a few seconds that um, I'm gonna get a different bowl because those circles, the, um, the circles from the pink bowl, you know, they were um, fairly large and we wouldn't get them. As you see, I have switched bowls, switched to a smaller bowl so we can have more meat pies because with the pink one we really wouldn't have too many if I kept using the pink bowl and I needed my husband to have many a meat pies that will last him someday. Here you guys see me um, filling the meat pies with the corned beef and onions. And <laughs> as you can see, site supervisor is on the scene to watch production. <laughs> like, really? <laughs> Pretty much finished. I'm just poking holes to vent the meat. Pie.